In this lecture, we'll talk about market research. Before a marketer can develop the marketing mix, he or she must collect in-depth, up-to-date information on the customer needs. Market research is the systematic, objective process of getting information about potential customers to guide marketing decisions. Such inf information might include data about age, income, ethnicity, gender, and educational level of people in the target market. It might include their preferences for product features, their attitudes towards competitive products, and the frequency with which they use the product. Market research is vital because the marketing concept can't be implemented without information about customers, what they want, and what they need. A marketing information system is a framework for accessing information about customers from sources, both inside and outside the organization. Inside the organization, there is a continuous flow about inf of information about prices, sales, and expenses. Outside the organization, data are readily available through private and public reports or census statistics, as well as many other sources. There are two types of data that can be available for decision makers within the marketing organization or to implement the marketing concept. Primary data are observed, recorded, or collected directly from respondents, that is potential customers. Primary data must be gathered by researchers who develop a method to observe phenomena or research uh, respondents. Many companies use mystery shoppers, for example, to visit their retail establishments and report on whether stores are adhering to the company's standards of service. These undercover customers document their observations of store appearance, employee effectiveness, customer treatment, etc. Mystery shoppers provide valuable information that helps companies improve their organizations and their internal processes and refine their marketing strategies. Some methods for marketing research use passive observations about customer behavior and other open-ended questioning techniques. These are called ethnographic or observational research, and this approach can help marketers determine what customers really think about their products and how different ethnic and demographic groups might react to them. In addition to all that primary data that you get directly from customers or from potential customers, secondary data are compiled, compiled inside or outside the organization for some purpose generally other than marketing itself, but it's still relevant and useful data. data. Marker, marker, marketers typically use information compiled by the US Census Bureau, for, exa for, exa for example, and other data, other government agencies, these databases are created, and there are databases that are also created by market research firms that are for sale, the data is for sale, as well as internally sales and other sorts of internal reports. You can gain information about customers to begin to get you started. Marketing of products and collecting of data about buying behavior, that is information on what peop people actually buy and how they buy it, represents the marketing research of the future. The online data is tremendous and the potential is only now becoming ex being exploited. New information technologies are changing the way businesses learn about their customers and how they market their products. Interactive multimedia research or virtual testing combine sight and sound and animation to facilitate the testing of various kinds of product concepts as well as packaging and design features for customer products before going about going into the investment of actually building the product or service. The evolving development of telecommunications and computer technologies is allowing marketing researchers quick and easy access to a growing number of online services and a vast database of potential respondents. In the next lecture, we'll talk about, we'll go into a little more depth about buying behavior itself of customers.